Hi everybody, how are you doing? It's Kylie. Hope everybody's doing good. I am here today to do my May favorites for you. Um, I'm not going to say, I can't believe it's already June, but you know, it's technically not June yet actually. It will be when you see this, but it's not June yet. But I wanted to try and get this done early because I recently have been having a little bit of difficulty with uploading on time and I don't want to do that to you anymore. Um, it's been quite the busy month. So anyway, here are my favorites. I hope you guys enjoy. Please ask me if you have any questions whatsoever about anything you see here. I would be more than happy to share my thoughts or tell you anything. So let me first start with hair. How about I have only one hair item for you. I mostly just have makeup. And the item is the Redken Powder Refresh. It's an aerosol hair powder slash dry shampoo. This is what it looks like here. This is something that I received to do as a review, and you'll see that soon. I have a review video and also a giveaway where you can win your very own, so stay tuned for that. But, um... I always have been a fan of dry shampoos and I was using one for a long time and then they reformulated it and I didn't really like it and so that sent me on the hunt for this one which I like because the smell is better and also it doesn't leave like I have dark hair obviously you can see that and a lot of dry shampoos when you spray them in your hair you feel like there's like white or like a gray cast to your hair and that is no bueno it is not cute so um, this stuff is not um, when you spray it it's just totally clear which is so so nice um, I was debating about resorting to Bumble and Bumble who has a colored um, hair powder is what they call it but it's the same situation I wash my hair every three to four days that might sound really disgusting to some of you but um, my hair that's what my hair is good with and I'm not a person who gets like greasy oily really fast and um, usually on the third day um, I will use this. I do, I have been trying to shower at night because I get up super duper early for work to get ready and get to work because I commute. Um, but yeah, this stuff is awesome. I definitely recommend it. I think it goes for $17 or $18. It is a professional product, Redken. So it's something that you're going to need to buy at a salon or a beauty supply house that sells professional products. So okay, that's my little hurrah about hair. Next I have, um, oh, um, a really cheap item considering what you get. And what I have here is the BH Cosmetics 120 Eyeshadow Palette. This is their number one palette. It's their original. It is actually the very first palette that I ever got, period. Um, as I was getting into makeup more and more like I've always loved makeup and I've had items of makeup for forever in two days you know but I always had like singles or quads or trios or something like that and um, I never really had a palette and so finally I said you know what I want a whole bunch of colors I want a palette you know so this is what I got this is the 120 like I said from BH Cosmetics and this little guy actually and just sits on top of this one in here and you just uh, has a little ribbon so you can pull it out I'll put it in so you can see what I'm talking about so when it comes this is how it comes open pull it out there you go um, I've been using this so much lately and in fact it's what I have on today um, I use some of these green colors here whoops you can't even see what I'm doing sorry I use some of let's see what did I use I use like this green no this green here and I think I use this one a little bit. I use some black. I use some of this uh, light shimmery color down here. Um, but this is really awesome. You can do just about like any look that you can imagine. It has mattes. It has shimmers. It has neutrals. So this is a really, really good starter palette. And my one little tip to you about BH Cosmetics, and everybody's seen BH Cosmetics. This is not a new product. I know. It's just what I've been using so much for May. So um, my little tip with BH Cosmetics is I went to their website 
and this is you know years ago and I signed up for their newsletter or their email notifications or something but I didn't buy right away because I couldn't afford it but I wanted to remember them so you know what happened is they kept starting to send me coupons so I got a discount on the very first palette that I bought period and they also are really good about like if there's a holiday going on they have a really good sale so keep your eyes open if it's something that you want and money's tight you know go sign up for their email notifications and just wait for a little bit because I guarantee you they're gonna send you a coupon if it's not already on sale so um, that's that now on to some eyeshadow that's not as cheap but it's something that I've also been wearing a lot for May and that is my color added eyeshadow quad from MAC I have been wearing this so much I'll wear the colors together I'll wear them separate this is it here and um, because these are blues and this is kind of yellowy green color um, when you put these together a lot of times you will kind of get that green effect with the blue on the outside which is pretty so um, I have been absolutely loving these this came in oh god I can't remember which collection I'm sorry, I don't remember. It came out like a two, three collections ago from MAC. It's called Color Added. If you look on the internet, go on Temptalia. I guarantee you there's the information you need about this. And it is something that's limited, so I apologize for that. Um, but you may be able to get it, you know, like on the internet or something. Oh, this came from the Shop MAC Cook MAC collection. That's what it is. Um, but yeah, you could probably go on like Makeup Alley or eBay or something if you're just dying to have it. Another really cool place to go is allcosmeticswholesale.com, I think it is. They have a lot of, like, limited edition that's, you know, older, already passed, but it's brand new, still in the package. I don't know how they get them, but, yeah, they that's what they have. Um, maybe a CCO or something like that. Okay, so moving on, I ha also have a single eyeshadow, and this is from the In Extra Dimension collection. This is just a color that I have been wearing so, so much. This is called Young Venus. Again, this is an eyeshadow and it's sort of a lavender type of color. I'll go ahead and put a little bit on my finger for you. It's very shiny and when you get it wet, you know, with water or your Fix Plus or your whatever you have, it's very metallic-like. It's very, very, very pretty. I will wear it, you know, up here as a highlight. I'll wear it in the inner corner. Sometimes I'll put a little bit as a cheek highlight. It is a beautiful color, very versatile. Like I said, you don't have to just wear it on your eyes. I've even, you know, worn it all over my lid and then just do something in the crease. Um, there's just a lot that you can do with it. It's a very beautiful color, very shiny, which I love. And um, also, like I said, very versatile. So the, that's all my eyeshadows. I promise I won't show you another eyeshadow. Um, next, let's break it up a little bit and go to my bronzer. My favorite bronzer for the month of May has definitely been, and I've tried a couple others, I've used some, but this one is the one that I just keep coming back to. And this is actually from NYX, so it's not something that was ex extremely expensive. I got this at Ulta, and it's called Tango with Bronzing Powder, and the color itself is called When, a when Leopard Gets a Tan. And it's really cute. You'll kind of see why it's called that in a minute. And it comes with this little package here. And at first I was like, oh my god, there's so much product in there. But then I realized, no, that's not the case. In the bottom here, there's a little brush. Do you like the suspense, how I skipped the product to show you the brush? Like, you really care, right? Inside of here, you got a mirror and then the product itself. Isn't that cute? It's like a leopard. But it's... A cute leopard a pink and peach and brown leopard and so I'll just swirl my brush around and this is the color I come up with and I just I really like this color a lot it gives me a really nice um, bronzy and I'm looking for a towel sorry oh there it is bronzy kind of glowy kind of look which is awesome okay next let's talk about blush. I love blush. I love, love, love blush. And actually, let me just apologize to you right now. I'm sorry I have so many MAC products. I buy MAC a lot. I really do. It's a sick obsession, I know, but I buy a lot of MAC. And yes, I buy a lot of limited stuff. I try, I have especially now been trying to buy more permanent things, but I'm pretty sure that every single MAC thing, actually except for one thing I'm about to show you, is limited. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say. 
Um, okay, so with that said, I'm going to show you a matte blush from um, MAC. <laughs> this is how it looks in the package. The color is called Magenta. This is what it looks like inside the package. And then when I swatch it, this color's amazing. I love this. That's what it looks like. And I, you know, like, I just kind of rubbed it around. I didn't really do anything special. But whenever I wear this blush, I don't usually wear it by itself. I usually will put something else with it. So I'll put this kind of lower on my cheek, maybe like right here. And then I'll put a lighter color up higher, like right here. And the color I've been using a lot is called Love Cloud, and it is a satin. So Magenta, I believe, is from the Real Sexy collection. I'm totally guessing. It's one of those collections that came out right then because three of them came out together. And then the other one, this one is called Love Cloud, and it's a satin finish blush. And this one is from the Trey Cheek collection. This is what it looks like here. It's a light... It, it definitely is pink, but... It's so light, it could also be perceived as a peach color. There they are next to each other, and you can see that the one it has the shimmer. And let's put it over here, we'll say. I don't know. It seems so bright from the light out there. I'm hoping that you're actually getting to see these, and I won't know until I watch um, the playback because it's really hard to tell in the viewfinder. So, um, okay, so anyway, those two bl blushes, again, I apologize that they're limited. I didn't do that on purpose. That's just what I've been using. Okay, so next, yet another limited item. Shoot me now, right? Um, this is called, it's a lipstick, and this is called Pink Popcorn. This is from the Real Sexy collection, and I am just in love with this. I love it so much because it's pigmented, but it's also sheer. So this is the color here. It's very, very nice. I love this color. It's kind of a lavender, and then this is a swatch of it here. This is just one pass. It's not, like I said, crazy lavender purple lips, but it has just enough color that you're like, oh, that's kind of nice. What is that? So I'm really sad that this is limited and now I'm going to have to go find something else that's similar because I love it. And when it runs out, like I said, I am definitely going to be sad. Okay, so I only have four more things. I'll try and hurry this up for you. The next two things are, well actually I lied. I have more than four, but I'll try and hurry. Um, okay, so the next thing I have is two eyeliners. I promise this is the last MAC product. And this is an eyeliner, or actually this is a lip pencil, but I use it in my waterline. And this is the color called Naked. You can see the back of it there, it's just a flesh tone. And this is so good because especially after a long day, you can probably see my eyes look kind of red, Just that's just the way it is. But this, when you use this, it just, um, gosh, yeah there it is. It just has, it takes away all... I'm going to make a bigger swatch for you. There it is. It's just a flesh tone, nothing fancy, but it takes away the look of the red in your eyeball. So if you have a problem with a lot of redness in your eyes, especially after a long day, you need to touch up, you're going to go out, try this stuff. Now today I have black liner on, so that's really not going to do me any good, but just give it a shot because, and it doesn't necessarily have to be MAC, I just really like this. I um, you know, when this runs out, I might try another brand or something. I'm not, like, tied to MAC for that. Um, but it's awesome. When the girl tried it on me, oh my god, I was like, I need that. She didn't even finish putting on. I looked in the mirror. I was like, oh, yeah, set that aside. I'm buying that. Because I have that redness problem. So the last eyeliner that I have is from NYX. So this is affordable. And this is a color called Glitzy Gold. And they're... The name of the liner is so long, but I'm going to tell you. It's Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On, Waterproof, Extreme Shine Eyeliner. Then in parentheses, it says, this eyeliner is so good, the name had to be this long. So this is what it looks like here. It definitely, look at that. That is awesome. It definitely, definitely stays on a long time. I would definitely compare this to the Urban Decay 24-7 liners. 
I'm telling you, this is awesome. I have about five of them in different colors. They work so good. This color just happens to be the one I've been using a lot this month. It's awesome. Please check them out. If you like the Urban Decay but you don't want to play, pay the price for them, these are definitely less than $10. So check them out. Okay, the last two makeup related items are two makeup brushes. And they are both from Crown Brush. I got them at the end of April at the Spring Style Show. You might have seen it in my haul from there. And the first one is this uh, Kabuki Style Brush. Buffer Kabuki. Short Handle. I really like Short Handle, especially when... Actually, I shouldn't say it. When I'm working on myself, yes. But I actually do also like it when I'm working on other people. But this is so awesome. You know, you just put your foundation and get a little bit and just go for it. Um, the, you know, I don't have any streaking or anything like that. It's synthetic, so I can use something a little bit harsher to clean it, which is awesome. Um, this is just a really great brush. I paid $12 for this. This is a really, really good brush. So good that I actually got another one, and I'm going to be doing a giveaway for it too. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. The second brush that I got, this one was a little cheaper. I can't remember exactly. It was either eight or ten dollars. And this one here also is a synthetic and it's actually a two-sided brush. So you see it has this big point here. I like to use this for right under here to get close because this one, I do my eyeshadow first nine times out of ten. So when I'm coming around like this, I'm really trying to be careful not to mess this up. But I can take this brush and just come out here like this. And then it also has this really sh uh, smaller end too. I don't find myself using that end too much and I really wanted to buy a um, I would have rather bought two brushes that were just single ended but um, they don't sell it that way they only sell it this way they sell this one as a this one I think as a single ended brush but not this one. Um, I tend to just leave this little protective cover on here and a lot of times I really only go for this side but it was there and <coughs> excuse me I'm glad that I got it so this is also a very good brush synthetic again so you can use kind of whatever to clean it with it and you're not going to ruin it okay so um, next uh, another favorite activity we'll say has been reading I have been reading my happy little butt off I love to read anyway but so far I've already read four books for the month of May and I'm about halfway or maybe a third of the way through with my fifth book. I read a lot and I read pretty quickly too. So I will show you the books that I've read and I'm showing you all of them because I love reading for one and I love these series. So the first book, I was reading the Uglies series from Scott Westerfield um, in April and when I showed you guys my favorites, I had this last book left to complete which was called Extras. Now the third book was a little bit difficult for me to read and stay in it but then when this one came out I was right back in it. So, Or not when it came out, when I got to this book I was right back in it so that was really good. Um, next after that the sequel to a book called Divergent came out. This is Insurgent here and this book I had been waiting for this to come out since like March? February, March, something like that. I read this so fast. This was a good book too. It was a really good end to the series. And then after that I was like, okay, what am I going to read next? And I asked for recommendations on my Facebook and Twitter and I got a lot of people mentioning this book, Fifty Shades of Grey. Now this, I didn't actually know what this book was about and for those of you who do, this is not the type of book that I typically would read. I'm typically over here in kind of teen fantasy land, okay? But at the same time, it was an interesting book. So I got number two, which is this one here, uh, Fifty Shades Darker, and this was also really good. I am now about a third of the way through with Fifty Shades Freed, and probably I won't get done with this before June because it's so close, but I probably will get close. I could read hundreds of pages in a day. It is not a big deal in a, in a matter of a few hours. I just, I read a lot. I like to read a lot. Next, the last thing, the last favorite, and I'm sorry this video is so long, I talk a lot, but I like to tell you guys why I like stuff. My last favorite is going to be my favorite YouTuber of the month, and that is going to be Stallion1920. Um, 
actually I should give two and I'll and I'll explain but I really like her um, stallion 1920 I'll put her link below because she's so straight up honest down to earth I watch um, almost all of her videos but the ones I particularly enjoy are the more like vlog type videos where she's talking about what's going on in her in her life I really really like those videos so if you're watching keep up those videos I like them a lot a lot a lot um, okay, next, I also should say that I really, really, really love, love um, Glamour Chica 123. Her name is Annalisa. I'm sorry, Stallion 1920. I don't know your name. Um, but back to Annalisa. Um, recently, over this past month, I've kind of gotten to know her a little bit. We've been emailing, and um, I asked her some questions about YouTube. She has been doing YouTube a lot longer than I have, and so we, I'd asked her questions about that. She was so nice and willing to share any information with me because, you know, there are some YouTubers who are not willing to, like, share any information. I guess, you know, you might be their competition or something. I don't know. Um, and she's the one who actually told me about a company that was looking for people to do reviews for them, um, which is the Erno Laszlo company. So definitely a shout out for that. That's awesome. But, you know, Annalisa, I just really like how you are just, you're you, you know, you don't apologize for who you are. Sometimes things make you upset or sad or happy for that matter. And you just let that be shown. I, I really, really like that you don't try and like hide it or like sugarcoat it or, you know, act whatever in front of the camera. I really like that. And, um, she's just, like I said, a very, very nice, easygoing, friendly person and seems like she's genuinely looking to make friends. So, um, that's all I have for now. Those are my May favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're still watching <laughs> and hopefully you're not <sighs> sleeping because I took so long. Anyway, hope you all are doing good, like I said, and have a wonderful day, night, whatever it is when you're watching this video, and I will talk to you all very, very soon.